If you're an Amazon seller that's wanting to hire somebody overseas that doesn't know English too well to manage your Amazon PPC ads, then stay locked in on this video because I'm about to be giving you some tips on how you need to go about managing them and double checking their work to make sure that they're not blowing your money away. Now, I know that the reason that you're hiring them is because you don't wanna have to double check their work and you just wanna trust that they're doing everything okay, but sometimes whenever you hire somebody, whether they're in another country or they're in the US, you need to double check their work to make sure that they are on the same page with your level of standards, make sure that they are actually doing their job properly. So unfortunately, you do need to do some hand holding in the beginning. And that's what the purpose of this video is, is just to give you some tips and insights into what you need to check when you're just getting that new person up and running. So let's go ahead and get started with the video with first me telling you who I am. My name is Ian Smith and I run an Amazon marketing agency called Evolve Media Agency. At EMA, we completely revamp Amazon listings and we boost up the conversion rate because we do product photo shoots and video shoots as well as do keyword research and rewrite all the listing copy to make sure that everything is perfect, make sure it's gonna rank as high as possible organically and to make sure that the photos are in the best place possible. We design EBC content sections, brand story sections, Amazon storefronts, shoot product videos to put them on the listing, to run them as PPC ads, to use them on landing pages for when you wanna run Google search ads to that landing page and then link them over to Amazon. So we do a lot of on and off Amazon marketing. So if you need help boosting up your conversion rates or increasing your sales and revenue, then book a free consulting call with me by going to emaamz.com. So let's start things off by me telling you about a free and awesome tool called the Perpetua Benchmarker Tool. It's completely free and it gives you great insights into how your PPC ads are performing for you on a global level and on an individual ASIN level. You can get access to this tool by going to evolvelinks.com slash perpetua. So that's my first tip, get access to the Perpetua Benchmarker tool. Next, when it comes to double checking their work, you wanna double check the keywords that they are actually targeting. Make sure that the spelling is right, make sure it's actually applicable to the product that you're trying to sell. I've seen it many times where we have a team member that is targeting completely irrelevant keyword phrases and we need to go in there and delete and remove all kinds of things because they don't really know English that well to where they are putting in the right keywords. So you wanna double check and make sure that their keywords that they're targeting are spot on and accurate. Next, you wanna double check what amount they are bidding on each keyword phrase. Sometimes you may wanna increase the bids because maybe they're more conservative than you are. Sometimes you may wanna decrease the bids because maybe they're gonna blow out your budget and you're just not gonna get any sales at that actual bid rate. So double checking the amount that they're bidding and what are they actually bidding on. Next, I highly, highly recommend avoid using broad, loose match and complements type of matches with your auto and manual type of campaigns. I really recommend to you to use close match and exact match, maybe even phrase match, because those are going to be the best when you're first starting out. You really don't want to blow away your budget with irrelevant targeting. So do not do broad, loose or complements ways of matching. And my last tip is that I highly recommend to make sure that you are running sponsored display retargeting campaigns. Now this is really powerful, okay? You can do it in a multiple of different ways. The first way is if somebody viewed your listing in the last 14, 30, or 60 days, or if you wanna get a little bit more risky and venture out, then you can set it up so that they viewed a similar product to yours listing within the last 14, 30, or 60 days. I ultimately recommend going with the first way, which is they viewed your specific listing in the last X amount of days, and then you follow them around with display ads on and off Amazon to try to get them to come back and complete that purchase. Now, if you sell a consumable product where they're gonna to have to reorder it month over month or every other month or something like that, then I highly recommend you set up this same type of campaign, but instead of targeting people who viewed, you're targeting people who actually purchased your product within the last 30, 60, or 90 days. Now with this, type of campaign targeting, you can be a little bit longer with the actual time frame because when it's viewed, you wanna hit them while they are still in the process of thinking about it. So 14, 30, like the shorter time frames that are possible do that. But with purchasing, it's gonna come down to your product and I would recommend, you know, 30, 60 or 90. If your supplement or product that you're selling is a 30 day supply, then you may wanna do 30. If it may be every other month that they would reorder, then you may wanna do 60. Now lastly, if you didn't know, you can actually retarget people who 
viewed or purchased products from your same product category. Now this is pretty powerful, pretty good stuff. So I definitely would recommend testing around with it. So be sure to tell your PPC worker that they need to set up these type of retargeting campaigns, test around with targeting people who viewed or purchased products within your same product category, double check the keywords they're bidding on, double check the amounts that they're bidding and try to avoid broad loose match or the compliments term that you're gonna see in the auto campaign. Campaigns. So those are my tips for you. Again, I do recommend you check out this free tool by Perpetua. It's called Perpetua Benchmarker. Again, get access to it by going to evolvelinks.com slash Perpetua. And then if you wanna book a free consulting call with me, I'd love to chat with you. Go to emaamz.com. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.